Anyways. Thank you, Mommy. Dang it! I forgot to put it in the dumpster! <laughs> oh well. Instead of putting the drill down to throw the wood over to the pile, I just had the drill in my hand and I, the drill bit apparently wasn't tight into the drill and I just yeeted my drill bit. And it's like my only drill bit left, all the, cause the impact driver destroyed all of my other drill bits. <laughs> like I was, I guess I'll go look and see if I have any other drill bits. I forgot I have all of these little guys. I was using the actual impact driver bits, but I have regular drill bits, so we're good to go. some explaining to do um <laughs> i wanted to sit down and like walk you through what i've been doing because with the power of like movie editing um and movie magic the weeks have kind of gotten shifted around and um so like the first half of this video it's pretty old footage um but then like the there's a big gap um we had over Memorial Day weekend, a crazy National Weather Service wind advisory of like 60 mile per hour gusts. Um, it was like, it was really bad specifically here at my house on like Saturday. Um, Sunday was pretty bad. Sunday or Monday was okay. I got a little bit of work done on Monday, 
But the only reason I even really care, because I'm trying to be um, mindful. I don't know if mindful is the right word. But I'm trying to be okay about things taking a long time and everything because I'm learning and it's not a rush. I have a fully functioning house in my van. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is air conditioning and the house has air conditioning. So, you know, I'm trying not to be too worried that like, oh, things are taking a long time or oh, I have a million half done projects. Like I'm just doing what sounds fun and what I have motivation and inspiration to do at the time because I think I will in the future appreciate more that I've spent these like probably years to fix the house up completely how I want it to be. Um, enjoying it and having a good time and yeah there'll be setbacks but you know versus um, me just plowing ahead and coming at it like a job and working really hard um, even if I'm not really in the mood and stuff like that and, and like not not enjoying or appreciating the time the only reason that's a bad thing, which I was gonna say before I got sidetracked, um, is that I had gotten a week long temporary dumpster brought to me on Friday before Memorial Day weekend because I didn't look ahead. I didn't look at the weather. And in my head, I was thinking, wow, three day weekend. I'm gonna fill this dumpster up. It's gonna be great. I'll have so much time. And, um, then I lost three out of my seven days <laughs> and the other four days I work. Um, and so that got to be just a little bit stressful because I wanted to fill the dumpster, um, you know, without, I don't, I didn't want to waste it because those dumpsters are like $130. They're not cheap um, for a week. And this is the second one I've done. So I've spent $260 on garbage. <laughs> because the videos are usually like a week of my life, but like a whole week of my actual life was spent literally picking up garbage. Um, and it, I didn't even bother filming it because it, it wasn't satisfying at all. But you can see the nifty little truck. Um, I'll insert a clip here. And I did in fact uh, fill it totally up. Um, it was full, full and there's still a lot of garbage. That's a big explanation right there. A week of my life literally was spent picking up garbage uh, and you that would have been so boring for you guys to watch. The unfortunate thing about that week is that I kind of got out of the practice of like filming and so I have done a ton of stuff and I'll, I'll pick you guys up, we'll go look at it um, here in a second. For example, like there's just like, um, posts sticking out of the ground, wood and also steel posts sticking out of the ground all over where all the old pot greenhouses are or were. And um, so I kind of just on a whim took the shovel out and started digging at the base of the posts to see what was concreted in and what wasn't. So basically the moral of the story is uh, anything that's a wood structure or was a wood structure is concreted in and it's going to be a lot of work to fix um but all of the steel structures were not and so i just yoinked one of those structures out um because why not like i said i'm gonna do projects as i get inspiration to do it and i had inspiration to do it so i did it um the long-term kind of goal right now is that i want to build a fence which is hilarious because you guys have seen so much footage of me taking down a fence, but that fence was falling down. It's so funny. I don't know. I'll try and do like a freeze frame because it's a time lapse. So I have no idea how good I can make it slow. Um, but the fence was built so poorly that I unscrewed a panel. You know, a panel should just be aesthetics. It's not like a structural part of a fence. I unscrewed a panel and the whole fence fell down. So it's really funny that I'm trying to build a fence now that I have um, been taking a fence down for a good chunk of my time. I really haven't made that much progress. The time lapse you guys saw is one of three big sides. Um, the fourth side has the house on it, so it's not that much work. 
Um, but the other problem with filming is um, it's just hot. Like this, I think, is a record-breaking year. We're like 104 degrees at the beginning of June, which is like not normal for here. I know I'm in the desert, but like it's just usually not 104 until like July. Um, so yeah, the it's just been very hot. So that limits kind of what you can do outside. So I've been working a lot in the dark um after the sun has set when it's a little bit cooler um in the morning i'm usually working my normal job so it's not like i can get a lot of work done in the morning before it gets hot um but yeah <laughs> that video clip of me um digging out those posts like you can see the outfit first of all first clip you can see it's dark uh, you can barely see what's going on but the second clip yeah you can see i'm i'm in my pajamas because i'm like hurried up that was something i did in the morning before work so i hurried up i didn't even get dressed i just in my pajamas went and started digging those up just so i could get it done um so i'm battling the heat already which is a little bit of a bummer that it's happened this early in the year but there's plenty of stuff to do inside so that transitions us really well to um, what I've been doing inside. So basically, I had a contractor come and I'm a little bit bummed because I posted on Facebook um, on like a local Facebook group that I was looking for like a handyman who would show me how to do this kind of stuff, like somebody who wanted to be like a dad basically and be like okay so now we're gonna do this and help me with that and you know then it would be like hands-on and we do it together um and the guy responded so i figured he read the post and like he came out and we looked at everything he made a list and, and went and bought everything uh, but then like he showed up with his own helper and like they just did it like contractors so i was a little bit bummed that i wasn't like as hands-on with that as i wanted to be but I did learn a lot. I watched the whole thing, which they probably didn't appreciate, but I wanted to learn. So um, the grand scheme plan, at least for that section of my home, is that there's this really weird hallway going from the exterior, the old exterior door into the like kitchen dining room area. And then there's the bathroom next to it and the bathroom's teeny tiny and the door's in a weird spot and it's just silly. Um, and so basically the overarching plan is to take the wall between the bathroom and the hallway out and put a door where there's currently just a cased opening and get rid of the exterior door and then that whole section can be a bathroom and that means that I need to get another exterior door because I'd be getting rid of my new front door, my front door basically. That's what I did. Um, if you guys watched the LA vlog, you would see that I bought a door. And I was so excited that I bought that door because I saved like at least $100 on it. It turns out it's the wrong door and even the contractor didn't catch that it was the wrong door until we went to literally put it in and it swung it swings the wrong way um so they ran to town and bought a new door that swings the correct way and i have a door for sale <laughs> so if you want to buy my door <laughs> i bought in la let me know anyways um so yeah they did that it only took them like it took them extra time because i had to run to town and back when they weren't planning on it but it only took them like half a day um but i told them to leave the drywall um because we had to redo all sorts of electrical stuff um, to reroute electrical over the door, but also there used to be a sconce that was really silly that got flipped to the outside and turned into a porch light. There's a light switch for that, all these electrical outlets, and then there's a junction box where everything meets and it's got a blank, it's gonna have a blank cover over it. And there was a telephone jack that was like super low and notched into the baseboard. It was just really weird. And so there's a lot of drywall repair that needed done. I intentionally didn't film that because I'm sure I would end up on a drywall react video and they would all just be screaming and crying at me because it's done probably very wrong. Um, but everything is gonna get a skim coat 
um, in the future. So I'm basically just focused on patching, like structurally making sure there's like no cracks, everything's basically smooth and then the texture of it, uh, I'm not really worried about cause I'm gonna come back through and like scrape extra wall texture off the wall and then re-skim everything. But yeah, um, doing the um, drywall around the header and over all the old electrical and I bought porch light and installed the porch light and I cannot wait until the exterior trim is painted and the doors painted and everything because it just looks really yucky with the primed white. You know, it's not even white white, it's primer white, so it's not great. But um, yeah, those are gonna be projects for a different time. Um, I'm not ready to paint yet. So that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, this week is gonna be really stressful because I have to call the septic company because I'm having problems with my drains. I think it's the main line, but they did replace the septic system when I bought the house um, as part of closing, so I have to call them and just make sure that they didn't do anything wrong or mess up or anything. The other, oh, you guys, this video, I'm gonna put it on um, Instagram. I filmed it vertical. I'll put it on Instagram. Um, I tried Starlink. Starlink um, released an RV service, which I thought was just gonna be the best thing because I could have it for the van. When I travel, I could have it here. Um, and I'll just spare you the details because I'm gonna post another video of it, um, but it didn't work. Um, and it's very expensive, it's like $700 um, just in hardware. So I am waiting for that to hit my bank account. Spoiler alert, um, it got returned. So be looking out for that video. I feel like that's gonna be a really controversial video, um, but yeah we're we're gonna be taking things pretty slow here on out and doing small projects that are not super expensive um because i have done several very large projects now that have kind of drained the bank account so anyways i have been rambling for way too long at this point i will go ahead and end the video here and um thank you for watching <laughs> I kind of personally hate when people ask to like and subscribe, but at the same time, somehow people don't do it unless you ask. So here I am asking nicely. If you could like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys when I talk to you guys next. Uh, we'll see when that is. Bye.